guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul video for you all. I've done quite a lot of online shopping over the past few weeks, um, as I always do. Um, a little bit shopping addicted. Uh, so I thought I would do a haul video for you and show you what I got. I've got some beauty stuff and I also have a few things from the end of the summer sales as well. You guys know how much I love a bargain. Um, so I'm going to start with beauty stuff. The first thing up is an order from very.co.uk. Now Very actually got in touch with me and asked me if I wanted to check out the beauty section of their website, um, which I actually hadn't been on the site before. They do have quite a big selection of stuff. So they have a lot of high street brands, but they also have some harder to find brands like NYX and Illamasqua. So I placed an order, which was actually, I'm quite excited about a lot of this stuff. And they also have Collect Plus, which if you work in the daytime and you're not at home and you can't sign for packages, it's really good. And also if you live in the middle of nowhere, like me, it's really good because basically they will next day deliver it to a local shop and you can go and pick it up from there. Pretty convenient. Anyway, um, onto the stuff. So the first couple of things are from NYX, as you guys know. I love NYX. Um, the first thing I chose was from their HD Studio Photogenic line. It's the Grinding Blush. Um, and this is in English Rose. I actually haven't tried any of this stuff out or opened any of it up yet. So I'm not really sure what the benefit is in having a grinding blush as opposed to a normal blush, but I really like the idea of it. You basically like twist it round um, and you grind the blush up. So we'll see how I get on with this. I really like the colour. It's a kind of beautiful kind of rosy pink. It's actually still quite bright. Um, but I like it and the packaging seems nice as well. This was a little bit more expensive than um, the normal NYX line. I think the HD line is like their higher end line. And then I also picked up the NYX Curve liner. I had been eyeing this up for a while and then someone actually said to me like you really need to try it because it makes liquid liner so much easier. It's basically liquid eyeliner but it's shaped ergonomically so you can like hold on to it and do that and apparently it makes liquid eyeliner a whole lot easier. I will let you know how I get on. And then I also picked up a new Tangle Teaser. Now I had a Tangle Teaser a couple of years ago and somebody sneakily stole it from me. I left it um, in the Louvre at my brother's wedding. This is such a bizarre story. Um, and it, it was gone the next day. So um, somebody took it, which is sad. But anyway, now I have a new one. I haven't used one in like ages. And when I went on holiday um, a couple of weeks ago with my friends, they had one and I was using it because I forgot my hairbrush and I was like, I need to get another one. But this is actually the Salon Elite version. So it's actually bigger. Um, the normal ones are about this big in comparison. So I have a lot of hair and it gets very, very tangly. So I thought this would be good for me. I got it in purple and pink because it's a girly combination. And then a couple of things from Bourgeois. I actually noticed they had a lot of newer stuff on the site that I hadn't seen in the shops yet. That might just be me being really blind. But um, the first thing I got was the Bourgeois Delice de Poudre? Poudre? I'm not very good at speaking French, even though I have a French name. Um, basically, bronzing powder and highlighter. This is a duo version of their original like chocolate bronzer, which is really, really good. I love bourgeois bronzers, they are great. Um, it has the brown side and then the highlighter side. I actually have not taken the sticker off yet. There it is. And it smells amazing, it's like really coconutty. Really nice. That looks really nice. I'm excited to try that. I'll let you guys know how I get on. The highlighter looks good, actually. It doesn't look too obvious. It looks just kind of really subtle and nice. The one thing with these I'm not a massive fan of is the packaging, actually. I think it could it could be smaller for the size of the product for a start, but it's also... I don't know. It like, doesn't look like makeup. I know it's meant to look a bit like chocolate, but it just looks a bit funny. Anyway, and then I also got the Happy Light um, Illuminating Serum and the Happy Light Foundation. Bourgeois foundations are really good and I've liked them when I've tried them in the past so I thought I would give these a go. I actually don't really know of too many good high street primers so I thought I would check this out because I thought it looked good. So that is everything from Bourgeois. I picked up a couple of nail polishes as well. The first one is from OPI which is Black Cherry Chutney. I don't know if this is going to show up on camera as anything other than black, but it's basically a really gorgeous kind of plum, slightly metallic colour, and I just thought this would be really good for autumn and winter, seeing as it is the end of summer. Um, but yeah, so I really liked that. And then I also picked up a new top coat from Illamasqua. Now, I have been using the OPI um, start to finish top coat, and I really don't like it very much, so I thought I would get a new one and try it out, because to be honest, 
a lot of how long your nail polish lasts and like the finish is to do with the top coat not to do with the nails um, or not to do with the actual polish or the colour itself so um, it definitely is worth having the good top coat so I thought I would try out the Illamasqua one because I've loved the polishes in the past and yeah I will see how I get on with that and the last thing I got from Vary.co.uk is the Rimmel Brow This Way. Now I hadn't actually seen this at all before, so I was super excited because it's basically a dupe for the Benefit Gimme Brow, which I do actually have. I bought it when I was in the States a little while ago, and I do really like it, but I wanted to try this out so I could do a review on it and let you guys know if it is as good as the Gimme Brow. I actually picked up medium brown because even though I'm blonde I do have quite dark eyebrows and I like them quite dark so I'm hoping this isn't going to be too dark for me it looks about the right colour um, it's always a bit of a question when you're shopping online whether it's like going to be the right one but I think this is good and yeah that's it for the makeup so moving on to clothing all of the stuff I have to show you fashion wise is from a shop called and other stories which I really like and they do have um, an online shop as well which they have quite a lot of sale stuff on so um, I bought a few things from there the first thing is my favorite and this is um, a t-shirt it's in a really kind of graphic amazing crazy print I can't really describe it almost looks like crinkled up tin foil or um, like natural raw gems or something crazy like that um, I really really like this it wasn't that cheap this wasn't in the sale it was about £29 I think but they actually have a lot of different things in this print for this season I think it's one of their signature prints um, so I went for the t-shirt and I really like it I've actually worn this already um, because I couldn't wait and I really like the cut as well because it doesn't have like definite sleeves it just kind of has that like drapey look I like it a lot and then I also got this top which was in the sale I can't remember exactly how much this was I think it was about £12 or something like that either way it was on like a quite a big discount uh, as you can see, it has this really interesting kind of cut out neckline. That's one thing I really like about And Other Stories. They do have a lot of plain design stuff, but it does have like little tweaks to it. So a lot of it is like a plain skirt, but then they'll have something different about it. Or a plain like tank top, but then they'll have the funny neckline. So <laughs> it's not funny, it's nice. But um, yeah, so I really like this. I actually got it in a size up because they didn't have my size. But... It's the kind of thing I personally would wear tucked into a little skirt, so it doesn't really matter in terms of like the sizing of it. So I really love that and I love the colour as well. And then I also bought this really pretty skirt. It's bright blue and it has a dipped hem at the back and it's made out of, it's kind of like office -y material, it's quite smart and it has little pockets in it as well. And this was on sale from £39 to £11, so this was a really good bargain as well. Um, and I just think it's really pretty. And then the last clothing item I got is this little black dress. This wasn't actually in sale, but, and it doesn't look much off the hanger, but I actually have the teal version of this, which I did get in the sale um, a few months ago, and I've worn it loads, so I didn't actually know they made it in black, and then when I saw it on the site, I was like, um, I've got to get it because I've worn the other one loads. So it's basically a really funny cut. It has the um, side button detail, which kind of reminds you of like a doctor's uniform or something. But basically I unbutton half of these so that you have um, a more open neckline and then I roll up the sleeves. And it's just really cute. It's a really nice, like comfortable to wear basic. Um, and the material is really light as well. So it's not like, um, I don't know, it's just really comfortable to wear and really just nice looking I think and then I also picked up a few bits of jewellery quickly at the end um, I got loads of these bracelets I I didn't actually realise I ordered three of these I um, had I'd actually seen one of my friends that's got these and I thought how nice they were and then I spotted them in the sale for £5 um, and so I just thought I'd pick some up I intended to get two so that I had um, they come in packs of two. This isn't making sense, I've got bracelets everywhere. Um, so they come in packs of two like this, and I intended to get two, one of each colourway, so they look like that, but for some reason I must have put two of these in my bag, um, and ordered more. So I think I'm going to keep those as a present, but I just think these are really pretty. They're so simple, again, like, with and other stories, it's like, they're really simple, but they just look really pretty and eye-catching, and they definitely look, um, like they're worth more money than they actually were, especially because they're on sale. And that's it for my haul video. I'm sorry I sound a bit croaky. It's actually super early in the morning right now. Um, and I'm headed off to London with Mike today. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.